Good day, researchers. I uh, hope you guys are well. Uh, I know that uh, sometimes it can be time wasting when we don't know something on how to do it. Uh, so I decided just to share with you guys for those who don't know how you can import um, EndNote uh, references into Mendeley. This is because most of the journal, when you publish, you wanna publish a paper, they'll request you to format, for example, the references according to their preference. So like here, I wrote my paper with the um, end not referencing. Then the journal where I want to, um, I'm trying to publish, they want me to have it um, uh, with the Mendeley format. So what I have to do, I'll come to my end not. So I got in total 188 references. So I'm going to select everything, click there, and then select everything here. See all my references I've selected. Then I'll go to file. Uh, go to file file export click on export then from here I need to save this under another format so I have to the save has the type I need to change it to XML change that one to XML and usually output style usually they prefer RIS some uh, machine can't show you RIS then you can leave it in uh, the default Whatever you found there, then uh, this one is your the name of your folder. The folder where you're gonna save it. Let's gonna call, gonna call it um, Castro. So the name of my folder will be Castro at the name. Then I'm gonna select where to save it. So I'm gonna save it on my desktop. Uh, can create maybe a new folder so that I remember I can see it quickly. I get a new folder on my desktops that I'm gonna um, uh, call, for example, uh, uh, PhD, PhD. Okay, then open this folder, open the folder PhD, and the name of my file is Castro. Then that will be saved, it completely saved now. After this, what I'll do, I'll go to my Mendeley. I open Mendeley. There's Mendeley. I already got some uh, references. I just want to add to the other one. Then, and Mendeley, uh, what I'll do, I have to go to add. See? I'm going to say add. Add what? I'm going to add file from, uh, it's from the desktop. You see? Then it's under the folder called PhD. I'm going to search for PhD. This there. This there. I'll open it. There's my Castro uh, file, then I'll open it. As you see, it's uploading, it's uploading, it's uploading, it's uploading, it's uploading, uploading 100% done. So now, all my references that were in a, that had end not formats are inserted here with mentally format. So for me now, I can insert this anywhere. On a text document and if you don't know how to do that you have to go to to world open a world document uh, okay currently my word document um, uh, I think the reference default is end not you see so what I need to do I need to when I say reference references yes it's there already so if I want to uh, to insert anything here from uh, Mendeley, so what I do, uh, let me come there, somewhere there. I press my keystar there, then I go to insert insertion. Okay, I think because I did attempt already. Let me delete this one. So see, I need to remove end not and substitute it by Mendeley. So then I need to search for the default, the default um, uh, referencing style. Usually how I do it, I go to like uh, SAS Direct. Let me click on any document, click download, click download. So you see, normally I want to change here automatically. So I'm gonna go there, say open, download it, open in a folder. That's where I come here. So here I need to change to Mendeley. 
because currently my default is end not. So I'll go there, I'll check Bentley. And it will convert everything. This is working. Okay, yeah. So now automatically when I download the document, Mendeley will be my default apps for for reference. Hope this help you the guy guys. So I'll come back to you now to show you also how to to reference uh, using Mendeley. How to insert uh, references for Mendeley to web documents. It's very simple and it's easier to use very very easy so like for example here if i go back to sans direct and i want to insert this this reference um this paper uh, into mentally i just have to download it i got to download i must give it a name let me call it a phd p hd that's the name of the document so i'll save it i'm saving it somewhere there in the folder save now I'll come back to Mendeley. So from Mendeley, you just add on, add. You see. Now uh, I need to search for where that document was saved. I think it was something May. It may. Yeah, I think this one. I open there. Then I'll search for the PhD PDF documents. PhD. That is there. Just observe this. Just once I click on the PDF, I don't even need to export whatever. Then I open it automatically. It will attach the page and it will format it to. There is it. This one. It's formatted to the the Mendeley format for referencing. Unlike uh, EndNote, on EndNote you need to export. You need to attach the 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 folder. This one will do it for you automatically. So. It's very nice for me. Uh, mainly, it's friendly. It has a friendly usable interface compared to EndNote. Sharp, sharp, guys! All the best, eh? Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye, bye.